go guys the video today is going to have a look at what you can get from op shops now as anybody who goes camping or fishing will know the gear you buy new in a retail store is not cheap and if you have a few op shops somewhere near you and there's op shops really all over the metropolitan area and a few in the country towns that are pretty good it's really worthwhile keeping an eye on what they have come in because we found over the years that we've been able to collect a huge amount of gear at a fraction of the price it would have cost us if we'd gone and bought it at the full retail price now this includes camera gear camping gear and all sorts of bits and pieces that you need to go camping uh, utensils plates fry pans saucepans sleeping bags all sorts of really good stuff that you save an absolute fortune on if you just take the time to regularly go and have a look at your local op shop and see what they have to offer so here's a look at some of the gear that we've managed to pick up at the op shops okay let's start off by having a look at some of the bags we've managed to collect and I guess I've got to admit that uh, I've got a bit of OCD when it comes to collecting bags. If I see a camera bag or a decent computer bag, I've made it very hard to resist buying it. One of the first ones here is a camera bag. I picked that up at Vinnie's for about $8. Retail, that thing costs about $130. Other camera bags, there's a grey one under here, it's sandwiched between two bags, it's got camera gear in it. Usually the ordinary looking bags cost about $4. On top of that I've got my latest computer bag, I have finally found something that allows me to store everything I need in one place. Decent amount of storage space for bits and pieces in the side. It has a document pouch on the far side and a huge amount of space in the centre for storing the laptop and the mountain of accessories that go with it. So a huge amount of space in that particular one and that takes this laptop here which I use when I'm travelling around. Now I've bought laptop bags before. you can see a little collection of them sitting on the cupboard up there they sell a lot of these backpack style picnic bags and they come with a whole bunch of picnic gear in them now they're well padded so they're pretty good for camera bag use got a number of pockets in them that I assume is used for a flask or something like that again that's padded you could put a lens or something like that in there and they come with insulation which acts as wonderful padding so that's every bit as good as a dedicated camera bag these when they have the picnic gear in them they sell for 10 to 15 dollars in a lot of places we've picked up a couple of those so we've got two of these bags that are identical this is the rather stupidly expensive Samsonite bag, which uh, I picked up for $10. Now if I ever want to sell that, which I probably will one day, I should be able to make a little bit of money from it. It's a beautiful quality, I've got to say. But uh, not something I'm going to use, but I just couldn't resist picking that up. I've also picked up a couple of Belkin computer bags. I started using those originally for the computer. They're not big enough for all the gear that I carry, but still lovely laptop bags. Some nice room in them. I've got a couple of those. Usually manage to find laptop bags for around about four or five dollars. Almost new, beautiful condition. Other bags we've managed to pick up. All of these are general camera type bags. This one's a little day use bag. Lowepro, which is a well known brand for camera bags. Another couple of bags up top there. It's a Hanamax bag, came with an insert. Yet another type of bag is a tablet bag. 
bought this a while ago anticipating that one day I would buy a tablet which I now have nice padded bag keeps all the gear in it and in the cupboard here you'll see a whole bunch of other stuff all sorts of small camera bags and that big pile of tripods and stands down there the majority of those came from op shops and priced from about five dollars through to a maximum I think I paid was twenty dollars for one of those so excellent value other general utility bags like this pack light good little storage not specifically a this one's not specifically a camera bag but a very useful little bag to put accessories and bits and pieces in and on the chair here you can see a whole selection of smaller bags that we have these anywhere from a two dollars through to about five dollars maximum in the drawer over here we have our main day use bag again a low pro bag top loader for our main DSLR camera lens holder on there absolutely excellent that cost me $12 it was one of the more expensive things I bought from op shops in the way of camera bags other bags we pick up are things like this toiletries bag and when you open it up all sorts of different compartments in it absolutely perfect for carrying a whole bunch of gear when you want to go camping this one's for longer term we also pick up travel bags like this this one is quite an amazing little unit wheels on the bottom side compartments middle compartments bottom compartments and it doubles as a large backpack and inside that we have yet another bag again this is a toiletries bag this one's more rugged it's a Lanza bag we have a few of the Lanza bags for general usage nice little hook there to hang it up very convenient now again you can take that with you when you're traveling whether you go motorhome caravan camper trailer or even in a tent very useful all sorts of storage inside it we have the small travel case style bag there that was around about ten dollars I think from memory on top of that just the general purpose bags they're generally about two dollars so there's a whole heap of different sorts of bags that you can pick up in the op shops not just camera bags other things we find include things like this VR box now we put the mobile phone in there when we're flying the drone and acts as a very nice 3D viewer so when we're doing FPV flying with the drone it acts as a really useful bit of equipment if you just use the phone on its own it's a little bit difficult to see outside in the sunlight so this makes seeing what the drone sees very simple
first shop I went to came across this utility belt. It's by Lopro. Now I haven't actually seen one of these before and I'm a little bit curious as to exactly how to use it. has a number of places you can hook things onto so uh, whack it around your waist and yeah, yeah I've tested it and it does fit so uh, something to try out and see how it goes item number two is another waist related item something that straps around your waist haven't heard of this Sofroto before. Manfrotto, yes, but Sofroto I haven't heard of. Some sort of camera bag. What I'm hoping I can use this one for is the VR goggles for the drone. If the VR goggles will fit in there, I'll be very happy. It's got a few little compartments on it. Looks interesting. Again, it fits me, so... We'll see how that goes. Each of those were five dollars, so... We'll have a look online and see what those two things were actually worth, what they would have cost retail. So $5 each at the moment, that seems like a pretty reasonable price.